Hi, I'm Dan McGinnis, realtor of over 34 years. If you knew you could not fail, what would you attempt to accomplish in the next year, the next six months, the next three months, the next month, the next week? What would you attempt to accomplish today? I met a fellow named Ron yesterday in a class I was attending. It ended up we seemed to click pretty good. And an hour or so later, we contacted each other by phone, and he came over to my home, and we ended up talking for like an hour, an hour and a half. Well, now Ron's going to go out and buy a pair of tennis shoes because he and I are going to play racquetball next week. See, I'm always, I'm, I'm so lonely, so lonely. I'm always looking for somebody to play racquetball or somebody to go to lunch with or, or something. You know what I mean? And it ended up that Ron's got some talent. Ron knows how to do some things with the cell phone and with the internet and with the computer that I don't understand. You know, upload, download, scan, push this in there and all these kind of things. And you know what? He's telling me how he's working with so many buyers. People are buying homes. But he's doggone, he just seems, seems like he just keeps showing and showing. He shows them 10 or 15 or 25 houses and he just don't understand why. I said, well, I think I can help you, Ron. You can help me and I can help you. How about that? You see, I said, Ron, I don't have to show a person more than three homes. How can you do that? I don't believe you can do that. How can that be impossible? I said, it is, Ron. It's the way I work. I don't know. It's just the way I work. So I said, give me an example. He gave me an example. One person he was showing homes to, has been showing homes to just in the last few weeks. I said, and uh, are, they, are they renting now? Do they have a lease now? Yeah, they have a lease. I said, when's their lease up? He said, March. March? I said, did you know my last few listings all sold within 72 hours with multiple offers. I'm talking about my last eight or ten listings. One of them was $430,000, and it took it 38 days to sell, and it sold at $435,000 with two offers. So, Ron, whatever you show a person today, this is January. That house is not even going to be on the market two months from now. I don't care if it was... The dollhouse, the one they want. This is it. This is the dream. It's not going to be on the market two months from now. And a buyer or seller is not going to accept an offer saying, I'll sell you my home in 65 or 75 days. So you're wasting your time showing that person houses. I said, what I do, I get all, ask a lot of questions. You got to ask the person at least 10 questions. What do you like? What do you don't like? If it had this, would it be okay? If it had that, would it be okay? A lot of questions. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about that? And then, you know you know a little bit about the person. You know, like some people like Pepsodent toothpaste, and some people only like Colgate toothpaste. Some people like mustard, and some people like ketchup. Some people say, I would never put ketchup or mustard in my mouth. I like mayonnaise. Some people say mayonnaise is fattening. So, get to know the person. And then you email them homes that are on the market in the price range in the area that they want. And in our market in Phoenix, the way it is right now, you're not going to find more than three to five homes, ten at the very most. And they're going to look through them, and there's only going to be two that they like. And you show them those two homes. But if they're not ready to buy now, you're wasting your time and their time showing them homes. And one other thing I want to mention for real estate agents, okay? If I've got a person and I'm showing them homes and, and, and I find out I didn't ask enough questions and we get to a home and it's a two-story home and they say they don't like two-story homes, they never owned a two-story home, they don't want to own a two-story home, well, let's go on. Well, no, we just look. No, no, no. We don't need to look, okay? If you want to look, go get a magazine or something. I mean, don't be showing people a home that they're just looking at. They have no interest in buying whatsoever. I mean, after all, if a person's qualified for a two hundred dollars to $250,000 home, would you show them a $500,000 home? Would you show them a $110,000 home? 
Of course not. And I hope your day is as good as mine.